Hey guys, I am getting ready to do second day hair. This is what's left of my first day. Um, I worked out this morning. Um, it's not that bad. Um, I air dried it yesterday after styling with um, LA Looks Blue Gel. So I mixed up some more of my magic concoction, but today instead of my deep favorite, <laughs> um, I used Perfectly Undone from Tresemme. I had some of this left and I don't want to waste it. It's not enough to sell. I don't like it enough to use on its own. So I'm interested to see how it will turn out in a refresh. I had made two bottles. Um, I'm traveling for work this week. So I wanted to, this coming week. So I wanted to um, have a bottle to take. This is not the same type of sprayer as the Flare Saw, um, but it's pretty even. I made this kind of thick, as you can tell. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what it does in my hair. So let's get started. Oh, I'm also going, because I'm going to let this air dry today. I'll go ahead and scrunch this in. Um, I'm going to plop my hair for a few minutes um, with my t-shirt just to um, kind of speed up the drying process and make sure that I get as much moisture out of it as I can. So flip my head over and start spraying. So if you have tried the concoction of simmering your conditioner with your water as a way of making sure that your conditioner is evenly distributed, you don't have any clumps, anything like that, let me know. Um, I'd love to know if it's working for you. Some of the girls in the Curly Girl Experiment group have had really great success with it, which is exciting. Um, you know, when we use thick conditioners, even if we use super hot tap water, it's not going to be enough to completely break down that conditioner, keep it from clumping, uh, clogging up sprayers. Um, and just not being even um, viscosity in the water. So I think that it's a good way to make sure that everything is all melted, mixed, and melded together. Um, as I'm spraying, this takes a little bit longer with this type of sprayer um, as opposed to the flare saw. Um, but as I spray, I'm scrunching. I put some lavender in. Because um, I was afraid of being stinky this morning. Because <laughs> I had a pretty, pretty intense workout. Um, just spray all over your hair. Mine is actually still a little bit warm. Because um, I literally just made it a few minutes ago. This little bottle definitely takes longer than the flare saw does. I air dried multiple day hair, um, I guess, I don't know if I did any last week. Um, I had a couple things for work that I needed to make sure I had nice looking hair. Um, but I've been getting good results with it air dried. Flip my head over. One nice thing about plopping to um, after this method of refreshing is it gets out any and all excess product. Um, one of my girlfriend curl friends gave me this cheeky curls. Cosmopolitan Curl Whip to try. I might give it a whirl today. It's worth a shot. So I know I've said before that there's not a lot of rhyme or reason as to when I will add more product or not. Um, and I, that really hasn't changed. Um, just kind of go how my hair feels um, and decide based on what I did on day one. If I did mousse on day one, I will add more product for sure. Um, I love my day one results with mousse, um, but regardless of how I protect my hair at night, it doesn't always translate into the best multi-day hair on its own. So 
spray this side a little bit more. And no, there was some feedback about using the flare saw that has had Febreze in it because of some concerns about Febreze. I use Febreze in my house. I don't care. <laughs> um, there's claims that it's toxic. There's claims that, you know, that it's a communist. There's claims, all those random things that people throw out there. I don't buy into that, um, but you do you. Um, but I will continue to use my Febreze flare saw bottle because of its accessibility. I've not been able to find flare saw bottles at my Sally's and quite honestly, I don't want to wait on prime. Um, and when I've looked on Amazon, they were a lot more expensive than the four fifty-five dollars that I paid. Um, and I also use that Febreze. So you got to make the decisions that's best for you. Um, but I'm not one of those people that's all Febreze going to kill you. None of us are getting out of here alive y'all. No secret. Okay, so I feel like this is pretty good and wet. Now notice my hair is not dripping. You can hear the moisture in it, um, but it's not even damp enough to really wet. I mean, it's damp, but it's not enough to even wet my shirt. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more on the top and then flip over and scrunch. I have used a ton of this, but this is a different bottle. All right, I'm gonna flip my head over and scrunch and scrunch and scrunch and then I'm gonna plop for just a few minutes um, and then we'll come back and I will try this stuff out today. I like to smooth and scrunch. Same in the front. Okay, pull it up and scrunch. That's how I apply my products as well. Flip, scrunch. Flip the side over and scrunch. So I'm just going to put my shirt on, on my toilet and tie it up. Uh, like I said, it's 11.32 right now. Um, so I will plop for about five, 10 minutes and I'll be back. All right. It has been about 10 minutes. I'm going to take my very attractive plop down and scrunch. Um, you can see where water's absorbed. There's really not a lot of frizz. Um, that'll change because I'm air drying. Uh, I have my sunglasses on my hair and stuff like that. Um, but I'll scrunch and then I'll apply some of this curl whip just to see what it does to my hair. And then I'll post pictures later today. Um, I try to always insert pictures that are from the end of the day. Um, if they're not, I'll try to specify. Same on my Instagram. I see... Um, A lot of times um, you know our hair looks really really good after we've styled it but that doesn't always hold up all day um, so in the sake of being transparent um, and authentic I will always let you know how long after I styled um, the pictures are taken this stuff smells fantastic by the way it says it's a luscious curl definer um, from Cheeky Curls. 
Oh, this is cute. A gentleman knows when to hold your hand and when to pull your hair. Woo! Risque. Um, the directions they use on wet or damp hair. Separate hair down the middle. Use a dime size amount of the cosmopolitan curl whip on each section. Begin by applying the whip two inches away from the root area and spreading it down to the ends. Once the whip's been applied, it's the perfect time to style your hair or let your natural curl shine on your own. Um, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to scrunch it in. Um, it's very creamy. It spreads very easily. Got it around my silicone wedding ring. All right. It smells great. Let's see if the smell will last. Now let's scrunch them in. Um, I will follow their lead on smoothing. And then scrunching. Um, my friend Maria that I got this from said a little went a long way. Um, since I don't know what to expect with my hair, I will apply another little swoop of the same amount. Just about like that. It's a generous little sample size. I'm not familiar with this brand's other products. I, I live in um, Morgantown, West Virginia and don't have access to a ton of um, curl friendly products. Um, our Alta doesn't have a ton. I mean, it has deep curl and shea moisture, which I don't use. Um, but our Target doesn't carry Uncle Funkies. Our CVS doesn't carry Uncle Funkies. Not a lot of curl keeper. Um, yeah, so that kind of stinks. I'll scrunch some more in. Just kind of loosely getting it all in my hair, just with my hands. And then I'll flip it over. And scrunch some more. I don't think you can ever scrunch too much, but that's just my opinion. I do clip my top back um, just to keep my hair out of my eyes. I do that when it's wet, when I'm air drying. I do think it helps create volume. Some people say it may break up your curl pattern, but um, I can't have it in my face. It drives me crazy. Um, but I do, I kind of try to push up on it so it gets air in there. I'll take this out probably in a couple of hours when I do it at work. Um, I usually am ready. Um, take it down around lunch um, from doing it in the morning, so I leave it up several hours. And then throughout the day, I will switch what side my hair is parted on, um, just so it lets it dry. Um, by the end of the day, my hair is totally dry. Um, so yeah, I'll have some pictures in here from the end of the day. It's a quarter till noon right now, um, but I'll stick some pictures in at the end of the day. You can find me at Curls Unfiltered on Instagram. I appreciate any comments, questions, concerns that you may have. Um, and I hope you girls have a fantastic day. Bye y'all. Hey guys, so I'm checking back in. It is 8.55 PM on Cinco de Mayo. Um, and the pictures that I posted, I just took. Um, I think my hair turned out really nice and it got rained on a bunch today. I ran errands to run. Um, but I really like that curl whip that I put in. Um, it doesn't feel crunchy. I got a little bit of a cast. I actually didn't scrunch it out until probably half an hour ago or so. Um, if I know it's going to rain and be nasty out, I will try my hardest to keep my hands out of my hair. Um, and then let it dry again. <laughs> Um, from the rain and then scrunch it later um, but yeah I'm very pleased I mean look at these curls I have hardly any frizz um, very 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 pleased with how this wore um, so I'm gonna actually look a little bit more into this line and uh, see what else they have to offer because that first impression from that curl whip sample was a great one um, so yeah second day curls with the curl whip um, after I freshly styled hair yesterday, Friday, with LA Looks Blue Gel. Um, I may try to get another day's wear out of these curls. I have to travel for work. I'm going out of town tomorrow and plan on doing my hair fresh Monday morning. So I don't have anything special going on tomorrow. So I'll probably try to get another day out of these. 
as always, I appreciate you guys checking out my channel. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Have an awesome one. Bye.